Uh, good morning, everybody. Uh, it's Monday. Uh, we're getting ready to start a new week, a very important week, as we will start to learn how to use our digital notebooks this week uh, in cooperation with the book. Right. So we had to make sure our book and our digital notebooks are ready to rock. So if I'm on my classroom page, whether I'm World History 2 of any kind or AP World History, uh, my classroom page today would have something that says everyone starts here updated. Right. If I wanted to do the stream, but I tell everyone, please go to classwork. All right, so if I go to classwork, I'll find a new topic, uh, week two, 824 to 828. And again, there it is, uh, the same assignment. Uh, everyone starts here. And again, it's updated for this week. So if I click on it, it says everyone will begin week two right here. Click here every day to work through your agenda for the week. Click the link to get here to get started on this week's lesson plan. So if I click the link, It'll bring me up that Monday through Friday template that I saw last week. Uh, it's a little different this week with a different Bitmoji, but it's the same idea, right? It says week of 824 to 828. And again, I click the day of the week to see that day's objective. Click on Monday. Monday says, good morning, everyone, and welcome to week two. This week, we'll be really focusing on a review of the information you learned last year in World History One. We will also be focusing in on how to use your digital notebooks. It's very important that you read the sections outlined prior to attending class if you are not fully virtual. Let's get started by checking out the My To-Do List for today. Don't forget that the My To-Do List is kind of like your uh, one-stop shop to know of everything that you should be accomplishing that day um, as you move throughout the week. So again, Monday, My To-Do List. I've got five things that I need to make sure I take care of. So let's just focus one at a time and let's start with King Tut's image to sign into your virtual book. So I click King Tut's image. And it should take me probably to a login screen or to page one uh, of our actual book. We just need to log in. So I need to log into, King, or into our book by clicking King Tut's image and we'll wait for our screen to pop up. Certainly is taking a little while. I'm going to go back over to our agenda for the day and take a look at the second one that it needs us to do. So eventually when our book loads up, we're going to go immediately over to the click the picture of the stone tools and watch the investigative historical evidence video um, and it should pop up. Let's try to refresh it here real quick. All right, perfect. So it finally loaded up for us. And this is that login screen I was uh, thinking would come up. And I'm going to show you exactly how to log in. So if you go to, you get this screen right here, you click Easy Bridge. It's going to ask where you're from. Now, if it doesn't have your district already preloaded in there, like this one does, if I, it probably looks like this. And if I click into that box right there, I'm going to start typing the word Amelia and it will auto populate. I'm going to select Amelia and I'm going to hit go. Now for you, it's probably just going to ask you for your email address. I'm going to click mine for school. And I'm going to click on that image of Big Ben the tower in the tower in London. Uh, that's the book we're using this year for World History 2. And there we go. Right, so all I needed to do first off was log in. Now, all of the links that are inside of my agenda for today um, will work perfectly. All right, all I needed to do was log in. Now that second thing says, I'm going to click the picture of the stone tools and watch the investigative video. We're not going to watch the whole video, but if you click the image of the stone tools, the video should pop up. And again, it may take a second for it to load. Be patient as we wait for it to come up. It 
It's very important not to skip step one, which is logging into the book. If you skip step one, you will not be able to watch the video. And if I click play, the video will start. We're not going to sit here and watch the whole video as this is just a brief overview of what the lesson should look like. All right, so I've accomplished number one and number two on what I need to accomplish for Monday. Number three is click on your digital notebook and let's make a copy and rename it. So I come over here to the notebook icon. I click on it. I'm going to make a copy. And as soon as it's done loading, I want to rename it so that it has my name and then World History 2 or AP World History Digital Notebook Template. All right, so it has already finished loading. Again, I need to change that name. And I've changed the name and I'm ready to go. So there's my digital notebook. Here's what I like to do, right? So I want to make it a little easier for myself. So I'm going to take this tab right here and I'm going to slide it off onto its own. So that the digital notebook is all by itself. I also want the digital notebook to be a little bit bigger and easier for me to see. So I'm going to hit view. I'm going to hit zoom. And I'm going to go with 100% rather than just 50%. And it, again, it makes it just a little easier for me to see um, all the different sections. There's a vocab section. At end of section reading questions, maps and charts, and assessment. This week, we're just going to be using the end of section reading questions, which is the red tab, and the blue tab, which is assessment. All right, I want to go back over to my original tab. So the shortcut I'm going to use is I'm going to hold down the Alt key, hit tab, and it's going to send me back to my agenda. You may need to uh, maneuver between screens if you're not familiar with that shortcut. But again, if you want to jump between screens, if you hold Alt and Tab, you'll be able to toggle between the two screens. All right, number four. Click here to obtain a copy of the Google Slides presentation we'll be working on in class today, or you'll be working on it at home. You will use this to help fill in your digital notebook. And I want this on a different screen too, all by itself. So I'm going to click it and I'm going to drag it off to the side so that now I have three separate windows. I've got my agenda, I've got my digital notebook, and I've got my topic or lesson for today. <clears throat> As you can see with the lessons, right, this is the main screen. We know that today our unit is connecting our connections with the past, prehistory, 1570. But our lesson today is called Origins of Civilization. You'll see in this bottom right hand corner that this lesson should take you 50 minutes to complete. The assessment part is your homework and will take additional time to complete. So there's a couple of parts to this. There are several separate readings and then there's an assessment part. The assessment part will take additional time and shouldn't be included in that 50 minutes to complete. Remember, this is just an estimate. It may take you longer. It may not take you that long at all. If I click on the screen, it'll take me to my first page. Right. Lesson one, origins of civilization. Anytime you see click here to go to your reading, remember this is where I want to go to my reading. I need to do my reading first. So I'm going to click on here and it's going to bring me to the book again and the pages that I need to read today for class. So if I click on Big Ben, I'm going to go back. That's not the page I need. Learning about our past. Page five is where it should take me. And it did that time. There we go. So I'm going to read through all of this. All right, so you're going to take some time. It shouldn't take you too long. It's not too bad. You read over it. You can highlight it. If I want to highlight, say, the word anthropology, right? I'll just highlight it like that right there. The little highlight options would pop up. I'd select what color I'd want, and boom, I've highlighted it. So you can highlight it. It's your copy of the book digitally, so it will remind, remember which uh, areas you had highlighted. All right. After I've done the reading, I'm going to come back to this tab. I'm going to click again, and there's a warm-up question, right? And after doing the reading, it says, what is the best evidence that early hominids developed technology? 
and it's multiple choice, so I have to click through to bring the options up. Bone fragments, written records, stone tools, remains of buildings. If I did the reading, right, I would know that the answer would be C, stone tools. The next question. What kinds of evidence do historians use to study the past? Here's where we're going to start using our digital notebooks. So I need to make sure I have this question. What kinds of evidence do historians use to study the past? And I got to think about that answer for a second. But if I think about it long enough and I click, I'll find that historians used a variety of artifacts, including clothing, coins, and artwork, as well as written evidence such as letters, tax records, and other documents. I need to include both the question and the answer in my digital notebook. All right, so I've got my tab set up. I told you there was no vocabulary, so we can get rid of all the yellow tabs this today. So that would be slide number two, slide number three, slide number four, and slide number five. I can get rid of those. I'm gonna hit backspace and they're gonna go away, right? And now I'm back on the red tab, right? This little red tab right here is now the big tab on there. That's where I wanna be. And this is an example of how you need to have the page set up, right? I wanna focus on this bottom section. I need to know how to set up the sections and how to set up my answers and uh, my questions and answers, right? So I know that I must ensure that they're numbered, they have a topic, today's topic, would be 1.1. The example says 1.7, but today's topic is 1.1, and we know that it was called Origins of Civilization. So I'm going to come over here to the first blank page. I'm going to insert a text box. To cover the whole page. Now I'm going to double click and I'm going to type in topic 1.1. And I know it was called Origins of Civilization. And I know I got to have my question numbered. Now my question was, what kind of evidence do historians use to study the past? So what kind of evidence do historians use to study the past? question. And my answer, right, if I just hit tab, it'll bring up that A like that right there. Well, the answer was historians used a variety of artifacts to include clothing, coins, and <clears throat> artwork, as well as written evidence such as letters, tax records, and other documents. All right, so there's my first question. There's my answer. I never include the warm-up questions. I never, ever, ever put warm-up questions in my digital notebook. I just want to focus on the questions that have the answers to them. And I know I have to go back and check my format. <clears throat> the questions will be in bold. All right, so I got to go back here. I'm going to highlight my topic. I'm going to highlight my question, and I'm going to make it bold. The answers will be in italicized font and red. So I need to highlight my answer. Oops, I misspelled documents. It needs to be italicized and it needs to be in red. I'm gonna go in here and I'm gonna fix the word documents. There we go. Enter, enter. There we go, there's question number two. So it's ready for question number two. So if I keep going and keep clicking, I'll find my next side slide. Same reading, right? We have a new activity we have to focus on. So if I click the activity, click here to go to your activity, it will bring up 
a new window. And if as I was at home, I would click on the introduction to instructions and I'd read over it. Once you read over the introduction and instructions, you'll click the next button to go through the activity. When you make it to the end of the activity after reading all the slides, you'll come back over to your main uh, presentation, click again, and it's going to have a question about the activity. So once again, the question is, what kind of evidence do historians use to study the past? And this is based off of the activity. So what kind of evidence do historians use in the activity to study the past? And if I did the activity and I looked over it, I would know that it revolved around the skeleton and how a scientist compared to other skeletons to discover information about the past. Now your answer doesn't have to be anywhere near this long, okay? But it is important that you have that general information that says that the kind of evidence that the anthropologists and archeologists used in the activity revolved around the finds of a like, skeleton. And then they compared it to a modern skeleton to compare the differences between what was like, life was like 1.3 million years ago. And you would take your question, and you would take your answer, and you would put it right into your digital notebook. So once again, what kind of evidence do historians use to study past based off of the activity? And I'm going to put the historians used a skeleton from 1.3 million years ago and compared it to a modern day skeleton to discover differences. That's a quality answer again. Need to know my question is in bold. My answer needs to be italicized and red. Boom. Click it again, get rid of the italicized, go back to black, and I'm ready for my next question. Oh, new reading, lesson one, origin civilizations, the Neolithic revolution. So I'm going to need to click and do a new reading. Another hint that you may have missed a reading is that it will say warm up. And if it says warm up, that means I'm, I should have a new reading at the top, which I did. I clicked on it and it's working to bring it up now. All right, Neolithic Revolution. So I would read over this, come over to my warm up. Which of the following might have been the main reason Neolithic farmers began domesticating plants and animals? Was it to ensure a steady supply of food and uh, food for later? to create a surplus of food, to develop settled villages, or to stop hunting gathering activities. And if I read it, and I know it, it is A, right? To ensure a steady supply of food and activities. Identify main ideas. This is the question that needs to go in, into, my, uh, into my digital notebook. How did farming change the lives of Neolithic people? So I would have to come in here and type my question, right? I've given you two examples. I'm not gonna type this one, but you would come in, you would grab that question, Click one more time and find the answer. So you are actually putting together your own notebook as we go through this. The next activity is based off of a chart. This question again would go into your digital notebook. Based on this chart, which statement would be correct? Are Paleolithic people more advanced than Neolithic or are Neolithic people more advanced than Paleolithic? And if I click one more time right, and I read the chart, I'll know that Neolithic people were more advanced. This has to go again into your digital notebook. All right, guys. So you will click through the entire slideshow and finish it all. At the end, you will see that there are five assessment questions. These five assessment questions need to be completed in the assessment section. So our next step for today is we need to get rid of 
the green tabs, maps and charts. There's nothing on this week's digital notebook about maps and charts. So I need to get rid of, again, the maps and charts section. So if I highlight those slides all the way until I see the next inst instructional slide, I'll just hit delete and there's my assessment. Now assessment questions and answers work the same way as your normal end of chapter or end of reading section and questions, right? Same font styles, bold questions in black, and your answers are red and italicized. Now, the big thing is you don't have the answers. This is the heavy, heaviestly graded section of your digital notebook. You need to have the correct answers based off of today's lessons in these questions. So if you get it wrong, you will get it wrong, right? This again, the assessment section, is the most graded and heavily scrutinized section of your digital notebook. You need to ensure that you're doing the readings, the activities, the charts, because that's where these answers come from. All right. All right, guys. So I'm going to go back to my <laughs> agenda for the day. I've worked through my slide presentation. Again, you'll go slide by slide working through all of it. And then I do not need, I can't forget that I need to complete my daily check-in question based on Google Classroom, right? So again, click on clean tut to get started, sign into that book, right? Showed you how to sign in, watch the video, get your digital notebook and rename it. You won't have to do that again tomorrow. You'll click into the slideshow, you'll finish it, You'll get another slideshow tomorrow, and then I need to turn in my daily check-in question. All right, guys, have a great day, and I'll post another video tomorrow.